Hello everyone, welcome back. It's Kevin with All Outdoor. Today we're going to be taking a look at a couple of different water filters. This is the Sawyer Mini. This is sold at diff various different big sporting good outlet stores, Amazon, places like that. It's supposed to have a life expectancy of up to 100,000 gallons, but as we all know, that depends on the quality of the source water. And this one here is the Sawyer Point One. This has a life expectancy of up to 1 million gallons. Pretty cool, guys, that we could fit up to 1 million gallons of safe drinking water inside something just a little bit bigger than your hand. This cap right here did not come with it. I put this on there. That's off a smart water. That's off a... It's got a little bit of water in there because I used it a couple of days ago. But the cap came off of a smart water bottle. All right, guys, let's see what we got here. Now, the point one has been used. It may weigh just a little bit more because it does have a little bit of water in it. It's uh, 3.15 to 3.2 ounces. Yeah, 3.25, and now let's get the mini over here. Wow, half the weight. 1.35, let's do that again. 1.35 as compared to, wow, almost two whole ounces less. Now, look, I just happen to have a tape measure, guys. Right, so let's see here. That is about five inches long. We're going to go ahead and build a measure from this little nipple here to that there. So this is going to be about five and three eighths. One of the things that I bought the point one for was for a gravity system, and we're going to be testing the flow right here in a little bit. But if you want to use it with a gravity system, you have to buy the inline kit. And it's just a couple of dollars more. They sell this as a bundle package on Amazon. And it just threads on there like that. Then you hook your hoses to here. Where this one here is already built in. It's already built in. It's got the little cover there. All right, guys. Let's just use a regular water bottle. I bought this. This is an Aquafina water bottle. I took the label off so we could see if we, whenever we use it to... Check the flow rate, took the label off so we can see the water. Let's see if this is going to fit. This is just a regular Aquafina water bottle, like what you buy at a convenience store. Yeah, that fits nice. That fits all right. Now let's check out the point one. Yep, fits on there nice. That is all right. The next test I want to look at is the flow rate. Is can the filter, can I know this one can be used as a gravity filter, but can the Sawyer Mini be used as a gravity filter? Got a platypus bag here and some tubing that came off of a, uh, another water filter. Sound like you've been drinking water a little bit too fast. Here's our gravity silk. Here's our gravity bag, a platypus big zip. It's a two-liter bag. I've got about a liter and a half in there. All we're doing is just checking the flow rate. That's all I want to do. Water was taken from a sandy bottom creek. Just flows right around through it, through there. And there's Ellis. I hope y'all can see him right there. He got snake bit the other day. But he's doing much better. Doing much, much better. All right. So let's see how this goes. We're just going to take this. And hopefully this bottle won't fall. Going right up to the line right there, guys. All right. What was the time on that? What I'm going to do is I'm going to measure up to that line. I'm time it and see how long it took to get up to that line. 
and we're going to pour this water out. We're going to refill the bag and go from there. I was wondering how the sediment was going to work with this platypus bag. If the sand, I know there's sand in there, but what happened, I thought this is rather cool, is the sand, give it a couple of minutes, all that sand will settle to the bottom. So you've actually got, I mean, you've got yourself a gravity pre-filter. So get, hang it up, wait a couple of minutes, let all that sand settle to the bottom, and it'll go there instead of going into your filter. We've got the same exact setup as before. We've got the platypus bag with about a liter and a half of water in it. And I've got a little leak there for some reason. That shouldn't be doing that. All right, anyway, since this is a new filter, has not been used to make things, we're gonna go ahead and purge the filter. Wow, that went pretty good. I'm not expecting it to flow that, fa that fast. We're gonna let this filter purge Get full of water, just like the other one was. All right, I think that's good. Something that I'm noticing, we'll keep counting guys, we'll keep counting, okay? Something I'm noticing is that the filter, the point one, was filtering the water faster than the platypus bag could, could feed it. I may do this again and show you. And then here, the water's backing up. And it's still going, we still got a little bit to go, we've got a few more seconds. I may do that again and show y'all, because right here, the filter was filtering the water faster than the platypus bag could feed it. All right, time. Something else that I'm something else that I'm noticing is that on this inline kit, these adapters here are smaller than what's on the mini, so they fit better. These this hose here came off of the of a catadin water filter. This one here came off of a of the platypus bag. It's very tight, so this this may this is going to need a little bit larger hose. We'll try to get it to fit a little bit better. Got a little bit of water left in the platypus bag. Let's see if I can show you what I was talking about. Or whether I need to go fill it back up. All right, it's flowing. See. That's probably just that. But earlier, let's see. So what's the end result? If you're going for a group size filter, I would go with a point one. Save more than three or four people. If you got just a couple of people or you're counting ounces, you want to drop your pack weight as low as you can, then the mini. I mean, you saw how good it filtered water. Just put, hang your platypus bag up there on the tree, let it flow down. Doesn't get any better than that. Doesn't get any easier than that. And we could say the filters have a hundred thousand gallon water capacity or a million capacity. Ain't that right, Bo? But the honest truth is, is that it is entirely dependent on the source of the water or on the water source. You're gonna take muddy marsh water. That's like sludge. You're not gonna get a million gallons through this. You're not gonna get a hundred thousand gallons through this. Nowhere even close. So I don't know. How Sawyer came up with the hundred thousand or the million. It's more water than a lot of people drink in their lifetime. Ain't that right, Bo? Ain't that right? Yeah. Anyway, I have both. I've used both. The bag, using this with the bag is terrible. I mean, it is absolutely, the flow rate, trying to squeeze it through there is miserable. And this mud works a whole lot better just using gravity and letting it flow like what we did here. This one here, I've not used the bag on. 
really don't care to use the bag on it. That's what I bought the platypus bag for. All right, guys and gals, we're going to load up, get the dogs. Buster's down there in the creek. Ain't that right, Buster? Come on, Buster. And then Zoe and Ellis around here somewhere. Come on, Buster. Buster, come on. Come on.